weapon length varies quite a lot in Total War Warhammer. Which is good, potentially good. Um, I think one of the reasons we've seen Spears and Halberds do a decent job and make a comeback in the Total War series is that weapon length affects how a weapon works. So, um, to exemplify this, I've set up a few different units. I've set up Swordsmen, weapon length of one, Spears and Halberds with a longer weapon length. There are some even longer weapons in the game for some of the monsters and different other units but for this test this suffices just to illustrate the point so a longer weapon should if the rules of the game are set up properly allow a unit to hit before it gets hit so here you can see an attack animation is being put into effect now these attacks happen simultaneously so uh, the zombie swings the sword man stabs Right, and the swordman gets knocked back and stuff like that. All good stuff. Now, presumably the range of these two, the weapons of these two units is just about the same. Uh, a bit silly to break rank and jump and attack in true Hollywood fashion, but let's leave that discussion for another video. Now let's see what happens with the spears once the spears get engaged. If the weapon length of the spears is longer than that of the swords, we should see two things. We should see the spear stab the stab attack before they can get attacked themselves. We should also see more spears being able to attack each model. So what happens then if, let's say, if the range is uh, two on these on these spears, it should enable each uh it should uh, as long as they hold formation it should uh, should enable more of these zombies to move into the zone of attack of the spare units so even though the spare units have uh let's see now oh yeah now the uh, their abilities have been reduced so it doesn't really matter as much but so even though the spare units don't have the best melee attack in the world they don't have the highest weapon strength if they can bring more weapons to bear on each zombie then they will do a lot better so let's fast forward, see what happens. Now keep in mind though that the animations you see and the calculations that happen, you can't surmise game mechanics just by by uh, by by w watching animations, which is why I've been in the database. And oh, <laughs> look at that fellow! My God, you are a flamboyant one. What the hell? So they've made <laughs> they've made that animation. But they haven't made unit customization for uh, for multiplayer. Uh, that's 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 over the top. So okay, uh, yeah. So you can't just g watch animations like this and say, okay, I'm I'm guessing that the spears do this and the swords do that. Uh, you have to go into the database and see how the uh, and see how the game reads the files and what the stats are and so on and so forth. But the good news and the point of the video: different weapon lengths are in the game, and longer weapon lengths are. Uh, although their stats might not be impressive, they are going to be able to bring more men to bear, uh, bring more men to bear when they are fighting, because the weapon basically looks like the weapon has an attack radius around each man, and if a unit comes within that radius, it has a certain, it has a chance to trigger an attack on the unit that comes within that radius. So, if these halberdiers get attacked, and the unit that comes here is in the attack radius of several halberdiers that means it gets it has a much higher chance of triggering 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 one attack or several attacks and that in turn has a higher chance of damaging said unit which is why spears halberds one of the reasons why they are quite decent at holding in uh, in total war warhammer compared to what they were in in uh, total war attila and in Total, uh, in Total War Rome 2. Charge, defla uh, uh, charge defense helps as well. Note though that spears have charged, these spearmen have charge defense against large foes. Uh, same thing with the halberdiers, charge defense against large foes. Some units have charge defense against all, which makes them uh, quite useful for holding against high charge enemy infantry but there isn't that much high charge enemy infantry around even a unit like a great swords has only has a 20 charge bonus but it's nice to be able to remove that 20 nice bonus as well enough blabbering strength and honor